Iran and the five permanent members of the UN Security Council, plus Germany, will once again sit at the negotiating table on May 23rd. This time, Baghdad has been chosen as the venue for the talks. Tehran has said it is ready for cooperation based on the Iranian nation's inalienable rights. By that, Iran means its right to uranium enrichment under the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, or NPT. I think the very first thing is to recognize uh, Iran's rights under the NPT, because NPT has been signed by a member country. All the other members should follow through. It's not that uh, I hear the word that the Western countries are going to permit Iran to do enrichment. There, there's no, uh, the, the contract is between Iran and the agency. It's not between Iran and the other Western powers. As a member of the agency, they have to honor the contract. If they have other wishes for confidence building, that's a different story. But the word permitting is, is not relevant uh, with the contract that Iran has with the agency. Otherwise, the whole NPT is up in the air. During the latest round of talks in Istanbul, the EU foreign policy chief Catherine Ashton, who represents the P5 plus one group of nations, acknowledged Iran's right under the NPT. However, recent statements by Ashton herself, Britain and now the United States are threatening the progress made in Istanbul. They are saying time is running out for talks, even before talks are concluded. U.S. lawmakers are even considering additional sanctions against Iran. And U.S. Ambassador to Israel Dan Shapiro claims a plan for a military strike against Iran is readily available. This we've seen before. This is the same dance we saw in the past few years. And the results are the same. Different groups try to torpedo this. I think the fair question that needs to be asked is whether or not the governments of the UK and the US in particular uh, really do want to see the talks reach a successful conclusion. We're not going to have a clear idea of what the actual intentions are of the P5 plus one governments. I'm a bit skeptical about how my government and the British government are going to behave. Listen to Iran's response. Taking into account the scheduled talks next week, it's the Iranian nation's resistance that's led to progress. I'm warning them against miscalculating their position. Galili says Iran's right to nuclear energy must be recognized by the other side. What we can discuss in Baghdad is cooperation based on inalienable rights of the Iranian people. I'd like to tell those who say time is running out for negotiation that time is instead running out for pressure. The pressures have yielded no results for them. Tehran says it has learned to live under decades-long U.S.-led sanctions and threats. It says its economy has even made considerable progress under the embargo. And many believe that will give the Iranian team the upper hand during next week's talks in Baghdad and the ones that will most probably be scheduled afterwards.